I'm going to be sending a message in Morse code from Microbit to Scratch. And my message will be Happy Cat. This is Happy Cat Morse code. So four dots for the H, dot dash for A, dot dash dash dot for P. You do that twice for the PP. Then Y is dash dot dash dash. Cat is dash dot dash dot. Then there's going to be a dot. Dash for A. T is just a plain dash. Dot, 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 dash, dot, dash, dash, dot, dot, dash, dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, 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 dot, dash, dot, dot, dash, dash. Happy cat! Hi everyone. So today I will be demonstrating the scratch and microbit Morse code. So a Morse code is a combination of dots and dashes to form letters. I'm going to be using the international Morse code. So over here in this page, it shows you A to Z and 1 to 0. A length of a dot is one unit. A dash is three units. The space between the parts of the letter is one unit. The space between the letters is three units. And the space between words is seven units. So, to start off, we're going to need to use the timer for this um, Morse code project. So just keep in mind that. So since we can't exactly hit it precisely, we're putting it in ranges from 0 to 0 0.5 seconds, which is half a second for a dot, then half a second to 2 seconds for a dash, then a space would be 3 to 5 seconds. Greater than 5 seconds is going to time out. This chunk over here is like the timer checks. It's just going to reset the timer and it's just going to check if timer is greater than timeout over here. And we're going to be putting most things in the forever loop. Then from here, we're going to set interval to the timer. Then we're going to have check if interval is less than dot. Then it's going to set received to join receive S. So it's just going to combine received and S. What S is, it is the dot. We just used S to stand for short signal. And then after that, we're going to do broadcast show dot. It's just going to show dot on microbit. Otherwise, over here, if interval is less than dash, then it's going to set receive to the join received L, which means long signal. Broadcast show dash. Again, same thing except with the dash. Otherwise, it's going to stop the script. It's not going to stop the entire um, project. It's just going to stop this B section over here. So, 
we're going to reset timer. Repeat until the B button is pressed. If timer is greater than timeout, which is in over here, five, it's going to broadcast the code. We'll come back to this later. Then it's going to stop the script. But if this repeat until is false, it's going to set interval to timer. If interval is greater than space, it's going to set receive to join receive asterisk, which is the multiplication sign if you use a computer. So this will be used to separate words from each other. Over here, slashes will be used to separate the signals. Like for example, if I were to do A, which is going to be dot dash, if I do dot dash, So, on the, um, on the, oh yeah, received. So, it's going to separate each letter. This will separate from each space. Then we're going to reset the timer. When it receives the code, if we go back here, it's gonna do the broadcast decode. Over here, set index to one, it's gonna do message. It's gonna set letter code to blanks. Over here will be blank, over here will be one. Repeat until the length of what it received. If Letter index of receive equals asterisk. That's going to go to code to letter, letter code. Over here, if code contains code, the code um, list contains code. It's going to set message to um, translate. So it's just going to... Over here, it's just going to translate. Let's say that you do SL, it's going to be A. Otherwise, it's going to set message to join message question mark because it doesn't know what it is. Back over here, it's going to set letter code to blank. Set message to join message. Space. It looks like a blank. It's space. Otherwise, over here, if not letter index of received equals slash, then we want to set letter code to, um, it's going to join letter code with letter index of received. Otherwise, it's going to set code to letter, bring letter code, set letter code to blank change index by one it's going to go to code to letter letter code say message so here will be the entire thing let's say that i want to do how about a simple hello a hello would be this it will be four dots, one, two, three, four, E. And back here, it's going to say, hello. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any of our videos on this channel. Bye.